Welcome back to Smart Money Mondays. Today we continue our discussion about a very important topic, life insurance. Rob Leister from Banco Investment Services joins us. Good morning, Rob. Good morning. First off, I wanted to say that I'm with the non-banking subsidiary of Bank of Hawaii. We're a member of FINRA and SIPC. The products we present to our clients are not guaranteed by the bank, and they're not guaranteed by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. They may lose value. That's right. All right, so there's so many kinds of insurance. There's term, there's life, there's so many. Where do we even start with this? Well, I like to start with the basics. Okay. Term policies are, tend to be the most basic of life insurance. Yeah. What they do is they provide pure insurance for a level premium for a specific period of time, let's say 20 years. Okay, so, so why would we want something that only lasts 20 years? Great question. Yeah. Not everybody's situation is different. Some people may have a temporary need. Say you're a young couple just starting out, have a couple of kids, budget's tight, that policy can give you peace of mind of knowing that it will give you the protection for as long as your child's are growing up. And with the level premium, it's affordable. Okay, so I got that. So what happens after 20 years? Yeah. After 20 years, Steve, that level premium stops. Wow. That means that if you want to renew, you have to renew at a much higher premium based on your age at that time. So most people, because life well, term insurance does not build up cash value, they just walk away from it. No harm, no foul. Yeah. So what about, what about policies like a whole life or universal? These policies are what we call permanent insurance. Yeah. Okay. Permanent insurance, unlike term policies, which are temporary, these policies are designed to give you protection for the whole life. Hence the term whole, right? Correct, correct. <laughs> Besides just the death benefit for life, it also provides cash value buildup. So over time, that value will build up, and you can use that asset uh, any time in the future. You can use it as a loan, or you can withdraw money from it, and you can take it out tax efficiently. So there, there's a lot more you can do with whole life, basically. Absolutely, absolutely. Most policies also allow you to what we call term, or buy riders. Riders are an additional form of insurance and protection. Since the Pension Protection Act of 2006, life insurance now is able to give you long-term care protection. Seven out of 10 people sometime in their life will need long-term care. Yeah. So there's a lot that goes into this, I didn't realize that, but obviously do your research and make sure you pick the one that's right for you, right? Correct, correct, correct. All right. And you gotta know that with life insurance, the more you know, the more valuable it will become to you in your financial plan. Excellent. All right, Rob, thanks for coming in. You're we welcome. Appreciate it. All My right. pleasure. Th thank you for watching Smart Money Monday.